This programme is sponsored by Triona Design, the Donegal Tweed and Visitor Centre, Ardra, County Donegal. TrionaDesign.com Kathy Donaghy and welcome to Donegal TV from Glenvay Castle. Coming up on this week's programme, Boston fights back against cancer. We hear about Cancer Connect Ireland, a cross-border charity helping children affected by cancer. And action. And we go behind the scenes for the making of the movie A Shine of Rainbows, which was filmed in Malin. But first, we're here at Glenvay National Park for the launch of the new Donegal Film Office website, which aims to be the first port of call for national and international filmmakers. Using its stunning scenery as a unique selling point, Donegal is hoping to capitalise on a big upturn in the film industry with the launch of a new film office website for the county. One of Donegal's biggest stars of stage and screen believes the place has lots to offer. Well, the obvious thing is the landscape. Uh, I mean, that's it's just so evident, like, you know, from the south of the county down Tullin Strand, like, through Ballyshannon, all the beaches all the way around the coast, and, you know, the, the, the architectural heritage, like the, um, the Green Inn of Eilach, and, you know, down south of Loch Derg, uh, all of those things, but also you have, uh, historically, um, you know, you have the biggest fishing port in Ireland, a lot of small fishing communities around here. And it's not just the places that make Donegal a special place to make films and TV programmes. It really is a unique place, you know, and it, maybe it takes events like this to remind ourselves of what a wonderful place we, we, we were born into. Filmmakers need to be dragged out of their comfort zone and shown places like this. So, so yeah, I think, it's, I think it's very important. It's hoped the new website will be a one-stop shop for location managers scouting out places to make movies. We're trying to provide uh, a quick way for location managers to find the ideal spot to basically run a shoot. So if you imagine that um, the F Film Office website essentially will provide a huge range of locations available in Donegal for shooting and we're hoping that when locations managers initially start the search that they'll see Donegal Film Office website as the first stop. Over the years, the Donegal Film Office has been on hand to help filmmakers with some most unusual requests and requirements. Got a call one morning uh, in the middle of a shoot uh, from the production resources person to say, is there any chance you could find us black-faced sheep not sure and that have worked with a dog? And in a second you say, yeah, sure, and then you go off the phone and go, ooh. But basically, I mean, that's what we're trying to, I suppose, show is that we do have the connections. I mean, we had those sheep on set within an hour where you left the phone to a local farmer and you say, can we can we have your sheep, basically? Um, and it is, I mean, you do have that local information. is just, it's absolutely paramount in order to be able to develop um, any kind of production locally. Donegal, people talk often about the weather and about the weather inhibiting things and the weather, you know, maybe influencing how film is done. Uh, I mean, what I, we find with filmmakers is that weather doesn't really influence to any great extent uh, I and mean, in fact you know they come here irrespective of what the weather is doing we had a very funny situation a number of years ago we were 12 weeks of unbroken sunshine and there was a requirement for a big uh, rain you know in the middle of a, of a shoot and basically they ended up having to bring in you know artificial rain in order to you know create what they needed uh, during this dry spell so I mean it's it's quite incredible that you know Donegal basically doesn't always behave the way that you think it might um, in terms of weather. It's hoped that new tax incentives will improve Ireland's competitive position as a film location. And it's hoped this new website will put Donegal in a strong position to win major TV and film projects. Donegal has joined a, a small and elite crew, if you like, in launching its own website. There are very few other regional film offices that, that have a website at this point. So Donegal Donegal's placing itself in a very strong position to benefit from and what is a thriving Irish film and television industry. That growth potential, I think, is going to be driven through 2015 and beyond through the introduction of the new 32% tax credit, which government put in place from the 1st of January this year. I think that that has the potential to attract big international movies and big international TV series. 
um, and I think Donegal and the launch of the new website um, place itself in a very good position to benefit from that opportunity. So what are the things that set Donegal apart for location managers looking for a stunning backdrop? Filmmakers, location managers and their producers, when they move outside Dublin Wicklow to film, um, are to some extent maybe taking a step into the unknown. They may not have filmed in a county before, they may not have filmed in Donegal before, and they um, need uh, inevitably need an information resource, a way of a quick and easy way to find local cast and crew, to find other service providers, to find um, hotels that are willing to uh, to do a deal. And um, Tony Gold Film Office already provides that service. The website, the new website, is really providing a, a shop window um, to that suite of services. And so I think the resources, this new resource, is going to make a big difference. The County Council is hoping that the development of the website will reap rewards for the local economy. Donegal is a very strong brand um, and it's a brand that we promote through all our different uh, community cult culture and enterprise uh, events and, and the different policies and work that we do in those areas. And I think that that's beginning to pay dividends. You have to spend to accumulate. It's about providing the environment that allows those within the industry or that to come and access our services um, and ensuring that, that when they come here that we're able to provide a top class service and I think that that's what we are able to do and we're just making sure that people all know about it. There's no doubt that Donegal has huge potential as a movie location and director Vic Sarin was very impressed with Inishon when he filmed A Shine of Rainbows here. Donegal TV caught up with the stars Aidan Quinn and Connie Nielsen as well as other cast members and crew. Keith Fletcher has this report. Welcome to Corey, lad. <laughs> he hardly says a word. Give him time, Alec. Everything here is so strange to him. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not know she has the special powers? They can find spirits who have passed on. Don't stare at her. Attorney the stone. Ah! You're disappointed. I don't see why you chose the run to the letter. Rehearsing and action. Donegal recently benefited from the production and shooting of a major film starring Aidan Quinn and Connie Nielsen. The film, A Shine of Rainbows, tells the story of an orphaned boy whose life is transformed when he moves to an island off the Irish coast. Filmmakers said that they found the perfect location. I must tell you that I'm very fortunate and blessed that I had uh, uh, lovely weather and wonderful people and all the locations. God, they're amazing locations. So what attracted me here was the locations and the people and both have turned out to be absolutely fantastic. Vic, uh, you know, they're, they're a Canadian film company. They were blown away by the location. Um, I know that another film company, um, are, they're shooting in, in Newfoundland, but they were looking for something like this here and I, I would imagine that he'll go back and he'll tell people about locations like that. I know I've worked with another German film company always looking for really nice locations and Donegal just has it, it's just phenomenal it, and particularly when the sun shines it is the most beautiful place with the cliffs and the, and the, the bog areas and the thatched cottages you know for, the, for that genre of filmmaking it's perfect. This film will help uh, even other you know not independent filmmakers to come and then use this place because the canvas here is so rich it's so wonderful, and it'll be a shame not to use it. You know? I think you know the importance is is the amount of money that it brings in into the community, and the amount of jobs, and the amount of houses that get rented, and so it does bring an awful lot of money into the community and jobs. So uh, th that's that's very important, obviously, in these times of uh, recession and with the downturn in the building trade and everything like that. It's going to become more important, I think. So 
it's a, it's a very good thing. One of the aims of the Irish film industry is to bring productions like this to the country and the Donegal Film Office hopes that this will be the first of many. This is probably our first major feature film in a long number of years um, and getting somebody like Aidan Quinn and Connie Nielsen to star has just been overwhelming for the county. Um, it's lifted us into a new dimension in terms of filmmaking and we're very hopeful that this is the start of an awful lot more to come. It's an individual thing really and it's a personal thing for me personally. I think it's, you know, um, you make great contacts and everything and you know, you work with people from the north as well so a little bit closer and hopefully you work on with them again. <laughs> The stars have been enjoying their stay in Donegal and working hard on their accents. It's been wonderful. It's such a pretty, pretty landscape and uh, it's a wonderful backdrop to our story. So we've had a grand time. It's the first time I've ever been to Ireland. Oh, we've enjoyed it so much. Everyone has been so nice and the weather has been very agreeable. We've been so lucky with the weather. Oh, it's been a doddle. It's been um, absolutely amazing. The weather's been incredible. The people in Donegal, uh, the hospitality has been superb, the Guinness is good, uh, the crack is mighty, as they say. There's nothing wrong with a bit of colour, is there? You're all the colour I need. Keith Fletcher for Donegal TV, Mallon. This programme is sponsored by Triona Design, the Donegal Tweed and Visitor Centre, Ardra, County Donegal. Trionadesign.com This program is sponsored by Triona Design, the Donegal Tweed and Visitor Centre, 